You know what's great? Video games. You know what else is great? Wrestling. You know what's fantastic? Wrestling video games. Maybe we'll talk about that over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. The Wrestling Mayhem Show, that's right, it's another show. Brought to you by the fine folks at Sorgatron Media. Go and check it out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You'll love it. I probably promise. Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of Let's Play. Uh, if you're watching us live, when you're, uh, we're in your eyes. If you're listening to us, we're in your ears. Unless Nintendo has something to say about it, but we'll get to, more, to that more a little later. Uh, guys, how you doing this week? Hey, hey. As Hi. usual, we have Sorg here. I how you doing, Sorg? I am maybe here. There I am. Hi. I'm here. I'm playing video games. I'm having fun. I uh, spent some time with the best $10 I spent in my life, and I'll tell you about that later. It's not hookers, is it? That's a cheap hooker. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. It's even unlocked. Chachi, how you doing this week? <laughs> wow. I am doing well. Thank you, Bobby, for the lovely introduction. And Riz, how you do how are you doing this week? I did not like that introduction. Do it again. I'm sorry. Riz, how's it hanging? How's it hanging? <laughs> Much better. I am doing fine. <laughs> Remix! <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you should be here live <laughs> Speaking of remixes uh, I guess It's time to find out what everybody's been playing this week Guys, what have you been playing? We'll start with Sword uh, I'll start, yeah Like I said, I've uh, spent some time with Max Payne 3 uh, Again, I dropped a, you know We were talking about the sales last week on Xbox uh, I spent a good like four hours with it the first night and got mm -hmm. through like five chapters. I actually got through the first of three parts of it. A um, little bit, a uh, little bit of time with Black Ops 2's new maps. I uh, got to play a couple of them uh, and a bunch of games. Uh, if you haven't seen uh, iOS, the App Store has a pretty crazy sale. They got Infinity Blade 2, uh, Where's My Water, a Disney mobile game that I kind of lost some time to today. Uh, and a few other ones. So just look up uh, iOS App Store sale, uh, five year anniversary, and you'll find a lot of stuff there. Hmm. Cool. Uh, for those who have Apple stuff, I don't have Apple stuff. So. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Sad times. Yep, yep. Riz, what'd you play this week? Uh, let's see. I've been playing the regular Injustice, Battle Block Theater, uh, Words with Friends. I picked up Draw Something 2. For some unknown reason. Really? Because it's the exact same game as Draw Something. And I regret it. <laughs> so don't do that. And also, I just picked up on mon on yeah Monday. I forget what day it is today. Uh, Deadpool. It was forty nine ninety nine, And it it's pretty good. I do like it. And it's, it's kind of repetitive at times. But... Deadpool himself is the main character and is awesome. So, you know, maybe maybe you want to go buy it. Maybe once it, once it comes down, go do it. Who am I to judge? My favorite superhero, but uh, I've heard it's not very long. Is that the yeah. case? Have you have you? I'm still in the midst. Are? I'm still in the midst of it. I think I'm like probably three quarters away done. If it's that so, if, if it's that short. Yeah, I heard it's from like six so, hours. Mm -hmm. So, all right, Chachi, what did you play this week? Uh, this week I played uh, Diner Dash, um, Candy Crush, uh, Marvel's Adventures Alliance. Um, See I, what I, you started. I spent an hour trying to convince Sword to play that, nope. and then I realized that if you play it on the iPhone, people just randomly send you stuff, so I don't need him anymore. <laughs> um, yep. And uh, my life. I've been playing NHL 13 still. Um, I went into uh, be a pro mode. Um, my character had the most goals, the most assist, the best plus minus, and the highest pen penalty minutes. Um, nice. Still for tripping and boarding. Um, it Pretty turns out. Cook, huh? it, 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 it turns out that if. I, I am terrible at hitting people into the boards, um, legally, I guess. Um, I, I just can't do it. Every time I hit someone into the boards, I uh, I, I go to the box. 
Um, but I was drafted number one by the New York Islanders. Um, oh, no. Which, and it's funny because um, they were like, oh, well, you have to play a preseason game so we can see how good you are and maybe you'll make the team. Well, before the preseason game even started, they sent me back down to the minors. <laughs> And then they brought me up three games into the season, and I've gotten a hat trick in every game. I, but I've also requested a trade after every game. It's the Islanders. Yeah, exactly. And they're like, <laughs> uh, "You're not. Wor- we can't get market value for you yet." So no. I did the trick where um, you just restart the season until you're on the Penguins. <laughs> 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 so, all right. Is that all you played this week? Yeah, that's it. All right, I Bobby, wait, hold on. Wait. Uh, from the chat room. Uh, Brother oh, Sorg idea. finished episodes uh, to GTA 4 um, this week. Ballad of Tony, or Gay Tony, was great. Um, and he's starting Red Dead Redemption soon. And to answer leg kick, uh, my knuckle puck is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, nice. it, they asked, uh, how is your knuckle puck, Chachi? And right. uh, Wrestling Revolution is playing Earthbound. Nice. Okay. And I played Avengers Alliance, of course. Um, I started The Witcher 2, which I bought during the sale. Um, it, it's okay so far. Um, I, I continued on Borderlands 2, and now I'm stuck again. Um, the Last of Us, I played. I got up to Pittsburgh, which... Pittsburgh is pretty intense. Um, mm-hmm. I'm just going to say. Another thing I noticed playing The Last of Us, I miss Elizabeth. Ellie's an okay companion and all, but I miss Elizabeth from uh, Bioshock Infinite. Um, I've been playing, I don't know if you guys remember a couple weeks ago, I, or um, a couple months ago, I mentioned Arcade Craft. Um, at, the, at the time I mentioned it was 240 points, it's now 80 points. Oh. Um, I've, I've been addicted to that game on Xbox Live Indie Arcade, or the, the indie, indie games. Wait, it's a buck? It's a dollar. Okay. Now. Yeah, it, it's it's really good. It's, it's in the uh, indie games. It's actually pretty, featured pretty prominent on the Indie Games page for mm-hmm. Xbox, too. It's, I think it's like one of the squares in the bottom of the corner. But it's it's a very addicting game a, addicting game if you can figure it out. Okay. Um, and I also purchased Bulletstorm and Hitman, so I'll be playing those pretty <laughs> soon, too. I picked up Bulletstorm and Perfect Dark Zero since it was only 3 bucks. Yeah, I didn't I pick like, any of the $3 like, games because I was like, eh. Well, it, was, it was 3 bucks, and I have Perfect Dark, so yeah. it can work for me. So. All right. And um, did anybody play the challenge this week, which was Braid? I did not play it, but I've kind of played enough of it in the past. Yeah, so I, I played the demo of it in the past too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I played I, through the entire game. So yeah, uh, this this was directed towards me mostly because I mm-hmm. didn't play it back then. Mm-hmm. I didn't play it now. <laughs> Come on, Riz, get with oh, the program. Riz. You had one job, Riz. Jeez. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't want to play that right now. I have enough games I want to play right now. Ah, uh, but you got the—that's what the challenge is for, man. Ah, uh, exactly. It, it is a very revolutionary game for like an indie game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. It, it, like I said, I think it was the first indie game to kind of get out there and have something mm-hmm. like quirky and different. Um, I, I we I don't need to rehash. We kind of talked about it enough last week yeah. about what this game was about. Can I? Uh, um, yeah. What's up, Chuch? Uh While we're on the topic of indie games, mm-hmm. um, I would like to point out, and I'm still not going to go back and and play it. However, um, <laughs> Phil Fish, your favorite person, my my favorite gaming person in the history of gaming people, is finally releasing the fix. What? For the broken Fez save game. What? No How way. long ago was Yay. that? One year. No One year ago. Cares. And why is he finally releasing it? Because wow. Xbox uh, got rid of the fee for updates. Yeah. And he didn't think that he should have to pay to uh, fix his crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's too late. I think somebody doesn't understand how, how this racket works. Well, it, really. not even that racket. If you're dumb enough to release something that's broken, you deserve to pay to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, in the long run. But it, I think well, it, it's two things working against the mill because they're, they're making you pay to do fixes. So you hopefully won't be sloppy when you put your game out. And this seems like just one of those bugs that slips through. It's a shitty bug. Granted, it's about the save games disappearing, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's one of the reasons I haven't gone back to it. 
Right. And maybe I will afterwards, but I, I don't know about this, like, man, this guy's kind of a dick, and I don't want to support his game anymore, <laughs> even by other people seeing me play it. I enjoyed like the it. game, but, you know. Uh, it's a good game. It's a good game. It's a but, revolutionary game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. However, behind it, I would dick. give anything to have had it designed by anyone else in the world. <laughs> Man, you know, artists... of any time period, I probably at this point would have much rather had Hitler release this game. <laughs> Hitler's fez than um, uh, Phil Fish. Yeah, I like yeah. the uh, Super Meat Boy guys. I wish they would have designed it. Yeah, they seem cool. Yeah. Like I have, I, I have a vendetta mm-hmm. against Phil Fish. I, I want to cause him. <laughs> So much suffering. Moving on, need, moving on to something more positive, uh, Bobby. <laughs> All right, things you should be made aware of besides murdering Phil Fish. I didn't say murdering, I said suffering. By the way, by the way, and did, I meant to, can I throw some positivity in that last rant? I bought Arcade Craft during that last rant, so there you go. Nice. Some, some, I'm supporting you'll, some you'll indie enjoy stuff. It, okay. All right, um, Riz, I think you have something that we should be made aware of. Oh, you should. You should be made aware of this. Um, it involves sucking. Yes, it does. <laughs> wow! It, it's not. It's not what you. It's, it's robot sucking. But it's not what you think. Oh, jeez. There is a there's a simulator out there. There's actually two simulators out there right now, one one each of each year. It's Roomba, robot. Back Where's the cleaner. cat that you can put on top of it? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I want to know if you can customize this, putting a cat on top of it, putting a cat with a shark suit on it, or anything of that sort. I want to scare people, <laughs> a, scare cats, there's and a scare everything. Mode. There is a battle mode. You can wow. play split-screen battle mode Roomba with your friends. You guys remember Battle Box you, from uh, Comedy Central back in the day. Friends, this is vacuum battles. Wait, hold on. Wait. Let me see if I understand this. Go ahead. This is a, a game, a game yes. where you vacuum. Yes. Really? And you can play with your friends while vacuuming. <laughs> The virtual world okay. that you live in. Um, there's, there's, there's a level of dumbness um, <laughs> that I can handle. Okay? Um, this is up there with the uh, don't let Kanye in his zone game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Uh, in in uh, Ninjas in Paris. Um <laughs> The title may have been changed. Uh, it, there, there's a part where he repeats, don't let me get in my zone. Mm-hmm. So someone made a Flash game where it's him <laughs> going towards a cir- yeah, circle, <laughs> and your job is to block Kanye from getting into his zone. They'd be like, Kanye, oh, no. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's in the zone. Yeah. But... But yeah, uh, also, this is free, so if anybody wants to do it... <laughs> Gee, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, the, the, let's, let's face it, the graphics aren't that good. I mean, it kind of looks like it was made on the Quake 1 engine. But the premise is awesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there was let's also another Flash Roomba game simulator. released this week. Oh, what, what's that, Riz? Let's just make a Roomba simula- simulator, guys. That's the <laughs> one market that we haven't done yet. Let's do it. <laughs> he won't play. He won't go play Brave no. Trial, but he'll get all excited the about the Roomba. Out. What does your room look like, sir? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you don't want to know, Sor. All right. There are places in there that I don't want to go into. Oh, no. Riz, so, Riz has E E O C D, electronic yeah. obsessive compulsive disorder. Awesome. You must vacuum Riz, the entire. Riz video only game plays world. games that are E for everyone. <laughs> There was also another Flash game released this week about Peter Molyneux's decisions. <laughs> <laughs> it was him flipping a pancake, and when you go to catch the pancake, like all these pop-ups with questions and stuff, <laughs> they pop up. It was actually pretty common. So, awesome. can you or can you not catch the pancake? Uh, it, it's impossible almost to catch, re-catch. You can catch it once, and then when he reflips it, that that's sounds, when all the pop-ups that sounds come accurate. Up. See that? At so. least my game has an end. <laughs> when it's clean, the room's clean. Yeah, it's yeah, over. True. Yay! True. You go on to the next level. 
All right. Um, the next thing that you should be made aware of is from Think Geek. It's a beard fit for a Dovahkin. It's it's the Norse uh, hat with beard. It has a Norse beard. So if you're a big Skyrim fan, check that out on Think Geek. I think it's like around twenty five dollars, which is kind of expensive, Roomba. but it'll keep your face warm. Yeah, or your Roomba, or or your Roomba. <laughs> Uh, but another thing, um, Fable HD Remake, they're um, giving a prize away if you make up, an, make up an achievement. They're having a contest where you can um, create an achievement for the game. Um, you, uh, you, can win, you can win a copy of the game, which is kind of cool. That's awesome. And your achievement will be in the game. Nice. So, yeah. Buy a Roomba. Right. <laughs> Get off the Roomba. Enough with Roomba. the Roombas. <laughs> All right. In video game news this week, Roomba create. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my head, Roomba! All right, um, big news. Like it was just broke broke a couple minutes ago. Um, Roomba. <laughs> um, the, you know the Evo fighting tournament that they have every year for fighting games. They they stream it live on online. Okay. Um, okay. usually it's like uh, mostly Capcom games, like uh, Capcom versus Street Fighter, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, or Cap- Marvel versus Capcom. Um, stuff like that. Um, Super Smash Brothers Melee was added to the game list this year, and it was. It was everybody was really excited for it. Um, they actually added the game and, and are donating the money f- that people donated um, f- to breast cancer awareness. Nice. But Nintendo won't let them stream the game. Now this is mm. now. Let mm. me get this straight. Uh, this this uh, this is a tournament. This is like a professionally organized yeah. tournament, right? Exactly. Yep. And, it's, and it's, it's not it's like a, a bunch of like you and me deciding to play Nintendo on uh, on YouTube. Exactly. Man. Nintendo would get nothing but good press from this. Exactly. I I think somebody is. De- they're definitely way off base with this kind of thing. Like, what what's the reason that they're signing for this? Oh. What's that? What, sorry, hi. Didn't pay. <laughs> what what is the reason that they're citing for this like being taken down? They're they did, they didn't really say. I guess it's just their intellectual property they want to try to protect. Okay. Um, I money. think Cliff Cliff Blazinski said online that um, don't listen to, don't always listen to your lawyers, Nintendo. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to, you can say no every once in a while. I, I think it shows more and more Nintendo is getting away from like the the core, you know, like uh, of, of the video game industry, of the fans, you know, which is funny because they're the ones that are really kind of keeping them still alive, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Hey, Bobby. And, 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 they're, they're turning... Oh, good. Hey, no, Bobby. Go ahead. Um, a question from the chat room. Uh, Leg Kick TKO wants to know if there's any Roomba in the tournament for late entrance. <laughs> it's ranked number there one. Needs. <laughs> There needs to be a, a Roomba in that tournament now. No. They can stream it live, and they don't have to pay a dime. <laughs> just, just saying. It's a, it's a good investment, if you're asking me. It's Roomba might pay them. Just set up yes. a controller sideways and have the Roomba run into it repeatedly. I'm sure it'll do fine in Smash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next character. Uh, yeah. Nintendo uh, better not ever watch Chachi Plays. Oh wow! Oh yeah. yeah, ever. Oh wow, or ever. ever. Well, here's the thing, and maybe this is something. And again, don't answer. You don't have to answer this now or anything. But when the time comes around, do we decide to boycott Nintendo if this is still in the news and still a bad taste in everybody's mouth? Because we don't want to risk that for one thing. Nintendo has and a if good taste the- in somebody's mouth. And and look at all the other companies, like. Sony is online with uh, streaming all their games online. Yeah. yeah. Xbox, they're on. They're 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 doing streaming online. I think yeah. too. Because I mean, and, and Nintendo's once again behind the so times. We we I, get a cease and desist on a non-profit. Screw that, you know. I, I want to cry just thinking about that possibility. I know, right? I mean, I mean <laughs> with, with, it's for the love of video games that we do this thing and to help people out. And now we have to start thinking about this kind of crap. Yeah. When we start organizing that thing, what about you guys with uh, with extra lives? Are you worried about that? Are you going to uh, play non Nintendo well, games for this? Sorry, I don't play Nintendo games. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, oh, I've only played like one Nintendo game. That's right. I, I'm sorry, uh, N- uh, Chachi and I are still kind of in denial over here as Nintendo fans. So, well, that's but, not true. I did play GameCube. There you go. But here's the go. thing: when we played uh, for Nintendo. Extra Life, yeah, which you can donate now. For our for the intercoin to begin to, uh, 
you can. All you saw was us. You didn't see gameplay you didn't see footage. Game. You didn't yeah, see yeah. any and of that. We and we and definitely think, stream our stuff. So. I had a small yeah. channel set up with mine, but it fell through. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I tried doing it, but it didn't work, and I was like, weak. okay, I'm just going to do this. Yeah. Um, Riz, Riz, you got something else that's weird this mm-hmm. week, right? Yeah, sticking with the fun, fun news story. Um, I did a story about the this kid who said something that was wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not, we're not condoning what he said. Mm-hmm. But he said to to a internet battle between two people. He said these words on Facebook Mm -hmm. and he said something to the extent of if I'm crazy, I'm going to shoot up a school and and eat their still beating hearts. Quote. Again. Again. (laughs) Just want to say, quote. Not condoning. Quote, unquote. Let's play does not condone any of that. Yes. But uh, an onlooker, well, non, I guess not an onlooker, uh, someone who actually just, you know, randomly looked up these things. It wasn't a guy from Canada? Yeah, he was from Canada. He went on this person's Facebook, saw that he was saying this stuff, didn't know the situation, didn't know the person him personally, or f- for what we know personally, and took it out of the context that he took it out of. Mm-hmm. And he called the cops in their hometown, in the guy, in the kid's hometown. The kid is now in locked up in jail for making terroristic <laughs> threats ser- can, and may serve up to five years yeah. if convicted. It's messed up. That's messed and, up. and what, what I saw on the, there's a, there's a petition out there for change.org. Uh, what I saw was, they did not uh, question him until the third day of his, you know, until the third day of his incarceration. They did not interview him about guns. They did not seize any weapons. They did not do anything until he was already arrested. There was no case study. There was no questioning of the parents, of the, of the kid, of anybody that he knew. They just, they just arrested him. And well, it, it's kind of weird because in, in my article, I do uh, go on against the cops who arrested him, first of all. Mm-hmm. The, the district attorney who made the point of arresting him and charging him with the crime without knowing the circumstances until very later on. And I did mention that the kid was wrong. In saying those things, and, but he did yeah, not deserve what he did. Yeah, he did kind and, of say like, "If I was crazy, then yes, I would say if this, I was crazy." Know? He did not, not say, "I was. I'm crazy." Not, I'm going he, to do this. You know. Yes, but so. still, it brings up a good point. Uh, we say a lot of stuff yeah. on social media, and people people out there are crazy enough to go. To point their fingers and say, "This guy's really mean it. This guy really means it." And mm-hmm. if you see something on there, and he's a gamer as well, and I believe there is a combination of, you know, hey, this guy, this this kid's a gamer. The guy who shot up this place was a quote gamer. There's and he's talking about shooting up a school. So putting two the two two and two together, this guy's going to do something. And it's, it's not the fact that he's going to do something. Yes. It, saying saying that you, if you were such and such, or flat out saying if you uh, that you would or want to do something is premeditation. Mm. So on top of being a terroristic threat, which it is, You've actually taken the time to at least think about doing this. Mm-hmm. That's not a crime of passion, which is more lenient than uh, you, because once you put it out there, it's a threat. I don't care how you phrase it. It's a threat. Mm-hmm. And if you're willing to put it out there, you need to be willing to do the time. 
-hmm. We're slowly pr approaching that. The that's why. That's why. Uh, why uh, the cops didn't have to investigate. That's why he he was in jail for three days before anyone even talked to him. They had the evidence right yeah, there. Yeah, the evidence mm -hmm. was right there. His mm -hmm. account, mm -hmm. his his statement, his words. That's an open and shut case. I feel no no empathy for that jackass. Yeah, and especially in this day and age when we have this stuff going on. I mean, it's crappy, you know, that it, you got to kind of watch what you say, but I think that's something that's education, and this is kind of getting away from gaming, but think about all the crazy shit you hear on Call of mm -hmm. Duty and wherever on Xbox yeah. Live. You know, uh, I mean, that... You know, I, I wait for this story to come out of, like, you know, some 12-year-old saying something incredibly stupid to the wrong person on Xbox Live and say, I got your username, I'm going to follow through and find out who the hell you are. And this happens to something like that. Um, you know, maybe this happens, maybe something like that happens during one of these Let's Play sessions, you know, uh, and it gets all over YouTube. Yeah. You know? So, anyways... But I think we're slowly re approaching Minority Report status, where pretty soon everybody's going to be predicting crimes and stuff. Yeah, exactly. So. Let's, pre let's make, it, make me happy, Bobby. Lego Minor right, Minority Report. Guys! Guys. Yes. Grand Theft yep. Auto. Yes. Five. Yes. Gameplay oh. video was released today. Oh. The article I wrote is entitled OM or GTA GTOMG. Because this video blew my mind today. Okay, okay. It's now this, amazing. This, this is your the first time laying eyes on it. Your your character, your skill, the, the the skills you work on in the game. Like if you say you go scuba diving, that boosts your uh, stats in your swimming ability. Holy crap! It also oh. boosts your lung capacity. Holy crap! Um, yeah, uh, they did that's, that in San Andreas. Yeah, that's San Andreas. Well, they did but like they, running they're, they're and stuff, maxing but... it out for this game. Yeah, they, they, I don't remember them doing that with swimming so much. Uh, it, yeah. What I noticed from from uh, this gameplay uh, trailer is that they're taking everything they've ever done. And pushed it to up. the act to the absolute limit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, limit. Which means, uh, it's either gonna do. It's either gonna be game of the year, or it's gonna flop. Or a giant botch. Right. Uh, there is no middle ground for this game. This is gonna be the greatest game released this year, or it's gonna be the absolute worst. There's it's there's good. no Tough competition though. That's but. why it, the. Yeah, but it's GTA. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I this, mean, it doesn't matter what. Oh, go ahead. It doesn't matter what else is released this year. This game is going to sell more copies. You know, right. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, and this is like purely because of recent events. But uh, since I've been playing Max Payne Three, now I'm super excited for this game. Mm -hmm. it, they, because, and they implemented a lot of the stuff from Max Payne into this game. Yeah, too. I, I, I forgot how amazing Rockstar was about cinematic games. Remember I told you I like the Call of Duty campaigns mm -hmm. because of the cinematic method they use in that? This is like, especially with Max Payne 3, and I know Max Payne 3 is a little more direct story, uh, but GTA always did a good job about going back and forth with the story and the missions and everything. It was a nice, tight package. You know, at least the best they could do on whatever platform and time period we were in. They were always I the premiere. I, I can't wait to get into something like this, and I'm, I'm kind of excited when I when I finish this Max Payne three. I think I'm gonna get back into Grand Theft Auto four because I never got through all that. Uh, yeah, I and try to get that in before this comes out because I kind of want to get that whole experience in. Um, just, just do me a favor, sir. Hmm. Skip La Noir. <laughs> well, I'm not everything. Like, like I'm not. Like, I'm not quite so interested in getting Red, Red Dead Redemption or LA no, Noir no, no, or anything no, 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 like that. No, no that's no. 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 Everyone, well, Max Max everyone says that you should play GTA bit or Wild West. Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> but Max Payne and GTA have not let me down in two generations of consoles. Correct. Uh, so I'm, you know, I'm going to have to go with it. Um, uh, well, with this one, what 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 they're do what Rockstar is doing, mm. I think. This is probably their last game on the 360. It's definitely okay. their last game. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I said, they're pushing everything. The, they're to the they're taking everything limit. that they've done from almost every single game that they've come out with, like Max Payne, Red Dead Redemption, 
Grand Theft Auto 4. They're adding it almost all into this game in one big amalgamation, it looks like. Because mm-hmm. there's there's hunting. They just see tennis. Yes, yeah, there's, there's tennis. Oh, that, that's Rockstar it's, Table it's Tennis. It's almost like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's almost like every other Rockstar game is a tech demo for a feature in a future GTA game. Five. Right? <laughs> yep. But there's hunting from Red Dead Redemption. They said there's going to be wild animals around and you can hunt, hunt with the guns you have. <laughs> um... The, the, the thing that I was Whoa. most impressed with in the video was the seamlessness when they showed the the one heist mission that they had. Yeah, um, Michael, I think uh, the the former um, bank robber guy, he was rappelling down the side of a building, mm-hmm. and you seamlessly switched to the other guy who was on on a um, thing with a sniper rifle on another building looking in with a sniper rifle. He's like, I need some help. You seamlessly switch to that guy, then. You sw- seamlessly switch back to Michael, shoot a couple more guys, and then you seamlessly switch to Trevor, the guy who was driving the helicopter. He's in his underwear. Take them away. It's it's amazing, and and they they showed like you switching to each of the characters you, you control in the game, and each time you switch, they're doing something different. Like they switched to the one guy who was getting chased by the cops. They switched to the other guy who was taking a bike ride with his son. I mean. <laughs> It's unbelievable that they would put that into the game where they're doing what like something else, you know. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So this this yeah. game has taken so long because it's putting everything the Xbox 360 has to offer mm-hmm. yep. to absolute. Did you see? Edge. Did you see that? The last hurrah. You're gonna have to install like a certain amount of the game onto your Xbox 360 in order to play yeah. it. Which means mm. uh, I guess gonna have to start looking into hard drive upgrades, <laughs> right? You know, but uh, you yeah. know what? Uh, this is it better be worth it. <laughs> oh well, yeah. It, either this game is gonna be the greatest game released this year, or it's gonna be the huge absolute failure. Uh, and I think I don't think they're anywhere <laughs> close to that failure right now. No, no, it's looking good, Bobby. Alright guys, I think it's time for a boss battle, which is actually about bosses this week. What? What what are some of your favorite boss battles? Chachi, go ahead. Really, Bobby? What? Really? Yeah, you gotta start you gotta start with the guy with the uh, Triforce on his arm on his hand. Well, I, that's an easy one then. Yeah, my absolute fam- favorite boss battle of all time is the Ganon battle from Legend of Zelda <laughs> NES. Surprise! NES. Yes. Wow. There is no better feeling at the time or at any time getting through that hard ass game, mm-hmm. like wandering aimlessly through the game, and then <laughs> getting to Ganon. There is no better feeling than that. It's the greatest boss fight of all time. Hey, Riz, what's your favorite? I'm actually going to stick with Zelda and go with uh, Ocarina of Time. <laughs> that Ganon battle was pretty cool. And the same thing, that was my first introduction into Hyrule and all that stuff. And that boss battle made me, like, as a kid, as a kid, made me wet my pants. <laughs> All right. And maybe Sword, what's your favorite? Oh. Sword, what's your favorite? <laughs> My favorite, uh, I'm going to have to go with Mega Man 2 at the end. Uh, it, it, it's, it, you know, you, you're fighting, and I can't, I, I'm mixing my giant robots between 2 and 3, but you always have this crazy giant robot, or or actually, I think in that one, you had Dr. Wily uh, in, a, in a big machine, that, you know, where he was in his little floaty uh, 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 little UFO thing in Mega Man 2. And then, you know, you, you beat whatever the heck that is. And then it turns out, like, he gets out, starts floating, and apparently turns into an alien, and you're just fighting that in the middle of, like, a star field. And can't even see the yeah. floor or anything like that. It was just the most epic, like, what the hell is this? You know, again, I think kind of like uh, Chachi felt about his Zelda Ganon battle, like, that was the most epic, like, the first, like, what the hell am I getting into uh, boss fight uh, that you that you could get into <laughs> around that time, you know, uh, and and very gratifying, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, when you beat a game like that. So, uh, Mad Mike in the chat room says fighting cool. Super Shredder in Turtle and in T- Turtles in Time Ooh. because you get a kiss from April. Bam, bam, with the April. Bam. 
All right, and my favorite um, could possibly be any of the boss battles from Metal Gear, or Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. But my favorite is the one with, um, I think it was the end. The, the, the old man with the parrot on his shoulder who had a sniper rifle and you had three jungles that you had to like find him in. And at one point he actually falls asleep and that's how you can, like one of the ways you can get him. But it's such a fun boss battle. I love it. Like one of my all time favorite like boss, ba boss battles. Nice. So yeah. All right. That's going to do it for us this week. This week's challenge actually comes from a friend of the show, uh, Chris. You can um, follow him on Twitter at, at friend Pittsburgh. It's a boy in his blob. Nice. So that'll be a fun one. At friend PGH. At friend PGH. Yeah, not friend Pittsburgh. Friend PGH. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, and I mean, you can you follow can... us on at insert coin to be insert coin TV. Um, you can uh, go to the site and uh, view new articles that are up at insert coin to begin dot com, and that'll do it for us this week. Game over. Uh oh.